Hey everybody, Buddy Cosplay here. It's late at night, so I'm going to try to be a little quiet, but we are going back in time and revisiting the Patriot build because it's been a while since I finished videos. A lot of people. As I was saying, it's been a while since we did any updates on the Patriot armor build and I kind of got distracted doing 20 other things, started building axes and reorganizing and got flooded out. So loud. So much noise. Take three. So anyway, this is for you. Finally, getting around to the chest build. It's going to keep it... Uh, Keep it quick and simple, show you guys how we made this, which is part of the uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Patriot armor. So, here we go. As with any build, you want to start out getting some reference images. I downloaded these and, oh, shameless plug here for CosplayU.club. If you're interested, go check that out. And I'm also going to use my duct tape body form. If you don't have one, you can see in my video library how to make yourself one. And we're going to just create a template out of paper, and we're only going to do half. And this I just drew, I freehanded it off of the reference images. And we're going to use some Harbor Freight brand anti-fatigue floor mats or EVA foam. I'm going to get one of these bad boys out because this is a good thick amount of foam. And I'm going to mark down the center line where I'm going to put my templates so I can keep everything symmetrical. And of course, I'm just going to trace the left side using pins as necessary to help hold the templates in place. And then I'm going to flip everything over and do the same thing on the right. When I have a large piece like this, I like to cut out just the section I'm working with to make my workspace a little more conducive to what I'm doing. I don't have a big table here, so this helps. And I'm using my straight edge to help get straight lines as I work out the different shapes of this EVA foam. Once I have everything out, you can see that I've sanded some of the edges. And I just use a sanding stick. If you want to see how to do that, you can check that out in my videos as well. And I'm using it on the edge of a table just to make a small angle and just round this edge off. And when I have that up against the flat edge, you can see you get this nice little detail between the two pieces. The bottom one is flat, the top one is rounded, and it kind of gives this little indentation. And to heat form, I'm just using my heat gun, and these are already heat formed, I'm just faking it right here. And I'm just using the styrofoam ball that I picked up at Hobby Lobby for a few bucks. And I'm using that to make a nice round curve. For the chest piece. I'll also heat shape the other pieces just to give them a little bit of shape as well. Nothing too major. It can be flat if you wish. I just like to add a little bit of shape to it. And now that we have everything laid out, you can see this under piece that goes right under the chest, the pecs, has angles cut in opposite directions. Actually, they're cut in the same direction, but what it does is, as you can see, when it lines up on the ab, it pulls up, and when the pec gets on there, it actually pulls it out. So it actually gives kind of a three-dimensional shape to it. Now I'm applying two thin layers of barge rubber cement on this, and I'm gonna give each layer about five minutes to dry. I put them together, and then I pencil on some more detail that I've made out of 2mm and 5mm foam. But before I do that, I want to break out my trusty copper pipes. I have three different sizes and they're kind of sharpened on the end, and I can use those to kind of cut perfect circles into the foam, heat them with the heat gun, and then they will open up. I attach these with hot glue and then moved on to gluing the next pieces on. The next pieces also, well every piece has two layers of barge rubber cement. 
And as you can see, I didn't let it dry long enough and it was kind of coming apart the seam a little bit. Not a problem, just let it dry and push it back together. Now I carefully line up the next piece. I'm going to reinforce each piece with just a thin layer of hot glue. This will help hold everything in place a little bit better. I don't want this to come apart while I'm wearing it. I continue lining everything up and gluing it together and then reinforcing that also with a thin layer of hot glue on the back side where no one can see it. I took some two millimeter craft foam and just made some detail that I just thought would look nice. It also helps kind of cover up some of the seam issues. I also made the logo for the character and then I moved on to the back piece. As you can see, I cut these in 45, well not really 45 degree angles, but slight angles, so that when they're together, they kind of go up in an angle to give the back a little bit of curvature. So here it is glued together, and then the back pieces are also added, and I've molded them also with heat and using the styrofoam ball. And on the bottom here I have a little opening. I'll just cover that with craft foam later, kind of like I did in the front. As you can see I added some more detail, reinforced everything with hot glue, and we're ready to start strapping. I know where I'm going to put my straps, so I'm going to go ahead and sand off that back layer. This will help the glue stick better. Now I cut some nylon strapping. And it's a good tip to go ahead and just burn the tips so it doesn't continue to fray on you. And then I'll score some lines in the foam to give it an extra bit of surface area for the hot glue to help hold it in place. Back on my body form, you can see I tacked my piece down so I can help line it up. And you probably saw earlier where I only did just the very ends of the strapping. Once everything was lined up, I went ahead and continued to put more glue behind it and hold the strapping down. And now I'm going around the edges to reinforce it. And here it is with everything hot glued on. And you can see I've got some shape here on the top and this is how I made it. I've got some five millimeter craft foam and then a piece of that floor mat foam. I just cut a bunch of lines in, opened up with the heat gun, and that makes this nice, nice textured strapping look. Moving on to paint, I started with the two lighter color paints because I know I can easily go ahead and cover any mistakes up with black, which by mistakes I mean I went real sloppy because I know instead of taking my time to do every little edge pristinely, I would just go over it with the black. I decided to go ahead and make the the main part of it gray, kind of change it up. I did the same with the back, and here it is, ready for the next step. Now, I found these buttons, and these have these little rivet looking things with little spikes in the back, and I thought, well, why use these circles when I can put something in its place, and these work perfectly. So I add a little bit of super glue and pushed it into the foam. I added these embellishments on a couple different places on the build. And that's pretty much the build. Uh, there's not much more to it. The only thing I didn't show in the video was on the sides. I also used the same design that I used on the top and I added some clips to make it easy to clip on and take off around my waist. One last thing I did was added some Velcro straps here that'll hold onto my belt to keep this in place, keep it from flopping around and coming up while I'm walking. So that's basically it. Uh, I did clear coat it with some spray and I slightly airbrushed a little bit of detail 
or you could just use a black wash, which we do in a lot of videos. So if you want to see how to do that, just go back and you'll see how to do that. Um, but that's it. That's as simple as this is. A couple pieces up here, piece here, these add pieces, and then whatever back design you come up with will show, uh, will, will show, will be uh, the end result. None of that made any sense. Anyway, I told you it's late. So, that's it. I got nothing else. All right, that's it. If you like this video, if you like what we're trying to do here on this channel, click that subscribe button, click that like button, and I'll see you guys next time.